Hello there, and welcome back to another haul video. Got a smaller haul video this time. <clears throat> I have two hardcovers, two graphic novel hardcovers. I got two omnibuses and two trades. Two books from Marvel, two books from Titan, and two books from Image. And I uh, guess without further ado, let's get into the trades. Latest volume of Saga, volume nine. Um, I haven't read this one yet, but sure it's, it's about as good as it's starting for the glare, as usual. Just I can't ever get that. And there we go. A little bit better, at least. A little less glare. Artwork by Staples, great as always. Um, the vo this the volume previous, the last volume, volume eight was the first volume where I kind of felt the book dropped off a bit. To me, it did. I don't know if that... Sorry for inconvenience here. Just kind of turn off the television a bit. Turn it down. Where it dropped off a bit to me. Though I felt like I lost interest just a little bit. Um, so I hope this one um, gets it back to a good level. It still is a fantastic book and uh, one of the best books of the 2000s, absolutely. Ryan Kivon, Fiona Staples, uh, you can't go wrong with this. It's volume 9 of Saga. Then we go to the second trade, also from Image. The fourth and final volume of Kill or Be Killed by Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips. Sad that this is the fourth and final volume. Sad that it is the final volume. This is such a good book. Another one of the best books of the 2000s. It really, really is. And when you say 2000s, you think you might think that, yeah, that's not a long time, but coming up in 19 years in the 2000s. So, I don't know. Could you say it's the best book of the 90s as well? I would say so. There was a lot of shit in the 90s, but there was good stuff well. But <coughs> I'm actually going to get to that a little bit later. But um, I really hope that this gets the hardcover treatment. When they came out with the fade out uh, about two years ago, I guess, they had the four trades and then they did the hardcover. I hope they do this with the kill of a kill because I will be the one to pick it up. In the abs absolutely. It's, to me, this is an absolute masterpiece. Such a good book. Rubaker is such a good writer and Sean Phillips has such a good Amazing artwork. You can't go wrong with this. Let's get into graphic novel hardcovers from Titan Comics. This is Elric. Elric of Melnibone. This is the Michael Moorcock Library. This is a volume one. Kind of icon and a kind of a iconic image here. There's, there you go, five volumes of the Michael Moorcock Library. Very much a high quality book. So these are originally fantasy books, real fiction books. So these are the adaptations of said books, written done by Roy Thomas, Michael T. Gilbert, and P. Craig Russell. So the artwork is very 90s, but it's this artwork here. It's very 90s, but uh, colorful. It's a lot of fantasy stuff. It's very interesting artwork, though. P. Greg Russell, you know. Just look at all this. Look at all the action that's <laughs> that's. Uh, Books, the actual book its pages are very good quality too so I can't complete this it's first hardcover from Titan but uh, really really good qualities to this stuff uh, really happy to have it and the second one I got volume 2 as well <coughs> there we have <laughs> volume 1 and there's volume 
are coming soon. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's the one that is currently releasing. Now look at the White Wolf. That's the one that's ongoing right now. So here we have Volume 2 of the Michael Moorcock Library. More about Elric. More of that Pete Craig Russell artwork. That's a good, that's a good, nice page right there. Oh, that's cool. It's a really, really trippy artwork. Nice, yeah, yeah. Trippy and colorful and weird and odd, but... Kind of cool at the same time, right? Yeah. Done in a very cool way. Thick book as well. Big book. You compare the two, you can see the size of them. See that second one is a bit big, big, bit bigger. So they're about in the size of a, a regular. Trade, so you know regular regular size let's get into the um, omnibuses then and this is one I'm sure you've seen in, in uh, haul videos a lot of late because it just came out Hellstorm by Wallen, War, Wallen, Warren Alice and I talked about 90s this is 90s stuff front spine Back. Take away the dust jacket. Got the same imagery right there. Very ominous looking uh, cover. Hellstorm. There's the back. A little cool. Satana, the daughter of Satan. So this is the Warren Ellis run on the book. Let's just see here. It doesn't cover the entire run of Hellstrom, Prince, Prince of Lies. It covers issues 12 through 21 and the series Druid 1 through 4. Obviously written by Warren Ellis and illustrated by Leonardo Manco, Peter Gross, and Derek Yoniger with Martin Chaplin. And when I flip through this book, the artwork, I think is really cool, honestly. It reminds me, personally, a lot of like Hellblazer, you know, Constantine, Hellblazer from the Vertigo run. And, uh, you know, image in the 90s. I think the artwork is good. That image was almost like a, a Sandman image. Very cool book. Very happy to have this. Uh, when they announced that this was coming out was like in the summer or whatever, I was already looking forward to this. Here's some of the extras. Black and white stuff, that's cool. A lot of black and white stuff, obviously. It's really cool. More stuff. Yeah, really cool stuff. I'm really looking forward to Druid. Get him in, get into this, get into this book. Druid. To the Lesser No series. Oh, we got some reader pages. That's awesome. We include this stuff. Okay, final book, and this is one of my, my big whales. Tomb of Dracula, Omnibus, Volume 1. Tomb of Dracula is one of my all-time favorite series ever any 
comic book company, anything, Tomb Dracula is one of my absolute favorite series. But these omnibuses, and there's three omnibuses. They have been out of print for, I don't know, I don't know how many years. And the demand and the price they've gone for are, is um, scary. But they finally have reprinted volume one. So, of course, I'm hoping they will reprint volumes two and three um, in the next year or two. They should. I have the I have the visionaries, the three visionaries, and those three visionaries actually covers the exact same issues as this omnibus does. So I guess I'm double dipping, but uh, God damn, I'm so happy to have this. Here we go, the classic uh, back. Get the spine there as well. Spine back. <laughs> Issues, collecting Tomb Dracula 1 through 31, Werewolf by Night 15, Giant Size Chillers 1, and Giant Size Dracula 2 through 4. But just look at that cover. Oh man, my god, this is awesome. Um, Mar Marv Wolfman writing and Gene Colan artwork. I have a lot of their stuff, not only Tomb of Dracula, I also have uh, the one they did with, with the DC Night Force with the beautiful hardcover, and I have, they did another Dracula book for uh, IDW that I picked up. So that's just, I love this artwork. I love this. I absolutely love this so much. I love 70s artwork more than anything else. Just the covers alone. They could, for me personally, they could do a, a uh, an omnibus with just covers from, it doesn't have to be just Tomb Dracula, but 1970s books. I would love that. You know, you can wish. But the, um, yeah, Tomb Dracula, one of my absolute all time favorite books. Uh, can't get enough of it. I love this book. So, so, so yeah. Another awesome cover. I love the artwork and I love the writing. and I love that Dracula is the actual protagonist, the main character of this book, which is so cool that I. A villain, the evil one, is <coughs> sorry. That the evil one is the hero, the, 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 the main character of this book. Look at this. Look, just look at this. Look at this. God damn, it's a great picture. And of course, issue, let's see if we find issue 10. Where do we have issue 10? We go. This is issue seven. Another great one right there. Seven, of course. You know issue ten. Uh, it's issue nine. <laughs> issue ten. Oh, I'm sorry. I just want to show you issue ten because that has. When I finally get to it, the first appearance of Blade, the Vampire Hunter. Classic issue ten. So, so much greatness. Uh, this is really uh, jonesing in comics, the uh, 70s and 80s. Hey, okay, just look at the cover. Awesome cover. There's his daughter, Lilith. Giant size. I don't know if there's too many, too much extras in this. <laughs> Classic 90s style, it's black and white stuff. Oh, God, it's great. Two different renditions. Yeah. Awesome. 
So, 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 so freakish happy to have this book. Uh, well, there you go. Th those are the books that I picked up. Um, Tomb of Dracula, the uh, Hellstorm, the uh, Elric, Michael Moorcock Libraries, Volumes 1 and 2, and of course, Saga and <clears throat> Kill or Be Killed. Sorry, I'm very ill. Uh, I've been ill all weekend and still going to work, but today, uh, yeah, whatever. I'm getting better at least, and uh, tomorrow's a big, long, long day of work. That's another thing. So that's my haul video. Uh, yeah, you know, I don't do haul videos like every month or every week. There usually are a couple of months between, and I would guess there will be... I probably won't be back with another video until next year, because I don't have any books that I'm planning to order. Well, I, there's always books that I'd love to, 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 to get. You know, there's always a ton of books, and you should see the wish list I have on uh, In Stock Trades. And, the wish list I have over, overall, but uh, nothing that I plan on ordering probably until December, and it takes about f five weeks for me to get books when I order from Insta Creates, four to five weeks. So I don't know. If you don't want me to do anything, any other videos, you know, please comment. Please give me a thumb, give me a like, and say if you enjoy, please comment. I, I mean, without comments, I will stop doing these videos. I really will. Uh, I could do spotlights or make more in-depth reviews or something, but um, yeah, there probably won't be another video until a couple of two, two, two three months. But um, yeah, until that time, have a good one, and we'll see you around. Bye-bye.